name's Bill Clark. I'm the Managing Director of Clark Art Gallery in Hale. Welcome to our Northern Show. In this exhibition, we have all the great Northern artists represented, as well as an up-and-coming collection of new artists. This L.S. Lowry oil painting is called the Ferry South Shields and he painted it in 1967 whilst he was visiting the northeast of England and it's a classic example of one of his paintings featuring his trademark sea plus very strong powerful images of shipping that was present in that area at the time. This Theodore Major painting is called Standing Figures and Telegraph Poles. Theodore Major was one of the greatest northern artists of his generation and he would have been much bigger than Lowry but he refused to sell paintings during his lifetime. These two paintings are by the great northern artist William Ralph Turner. He is viewed as a natural successor to L.S. Lowry. He's 91 years old now but he hasn't painted for five years. Over the last three years his paintings have quadrupled in value. This painting is called Three Musical Clowns by Alan Lowndes. Alan Lowndes was a contemporary of Lowry and they were represented by the same dealer. His work is now selling for up to £50,000 and this is a classic example of one of his circus paintings. This painting of the banjo player is by the Manchester artist Stacey Manton and in my opinion Stacey Manton is the future of Northern art. He concentrates on the people that he sees in the streets of Manchester. This painting was exhibited at Manchester Art Gallery for three years and it was one of the most popular paintings on view.